When I'm on my high horse talking about the importance of our Welsh place names, there's one argument that can sometimes trip me up. What's the difference between people using English place names in Wales and people using Welsh place names in England? That's to say, do we have the right to insist that Arwyddfa is used instead of Snowdon or Abertavy instead of Cardigan while we come here to the capital city of England and call London Llundain? Well, to get to the root of this argument, we need, as usual, to go way back in time. Geoffrey of Monmouth, back in the 12th century, was one of the first to offer an explanation for the origins of the name London. He suggested it was named after Sliv Vab Belly, a legendary king who had a court here. So London comes from Caer Liv, the fortress of Liv. Liv became Lud, with many believing that the king was buried here, in Ludgate. There have been various other interesting explanations over the centuries, trying to link London with the Britonic, Lindin, the city of the lake, Glindin, the city in the glen, Llwyndin, Hedge City, and even Lunadin, city of the moon. This is the London Stone. And the people of this great city have been safeguarding and celebrating this stone for well over a thousand years. Why? Well, as with the origins of the name London, we simply don't know. There are many legends, but very few facts. So let's concentrate on what we do know. There's evidence that this would have been the type of stone carried here and used for building or even to create statues by the Romans. So it was the Romans who first gave this city the name Londinium. And it was an important place strategically because Bivig, or Boudica, burnt the place down during her rebellion in the year 61. And the ashes from that great fire is still being unearthed by builders even today as they dig down deep into the foundations of the city. That suggests that the name existed in some form or another before the Romans got here and it derives from the Britonic, the language spoken throughout Britain during the Iron Age. And while Geoffrey of Monmouth didn't quite hit the mark, he wasn't completely wrong, because there's a strong connection between the Britonic and Celtic language and the capital city of England. But that connection is linguistic and not royal. Whatever the truth about the name of this place is, our Welsh connection to this amazing city is strong. It's part of our history, and we are part of its history. Our roots run deep, and so I think we have a right, an ancient right, to call this place Sindain.